Hi guys, Tom Mills here. And our channel was always made because we wanted to, I don't know, share the struggles of our life. You know, when me and Andrea got married and we were didn't have a lot of money, living in a small house on a small budget, um, growing a large family, uh, we had a lot of unique challenges and unique situations we were in. And some of the things we struggled on uh, were fought with many tears and 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 difficulties and worry and and when we finally figured out solutions to the problems they were so revolutionary that we wanted to share them we wanted to help other people because I really believe in legacy the idea of leaving this world in a better place than we found it and I, I, I've said this analogy before but we have all this amazing technology with computers and, and small phones you can carry with you and talk to anybody in the world just uh, moment's notice and it wasn't always that way. This is a very recent development in our our culture to have such amazing advances and we have those things because people left legacies behind. You know when someone invented the light bulb they wrote down exactly, Thomas Edison wrote down exactly how it was to be done after he got it figured out and then the next person didn't have to try and learn how to invent a light bulb. They could just read what he wrote, copy the specifications, and then he had a light bulb. And as a result, somebody else didn't have to spend their whole life, or at least a lot of time, figuring out those things. And over, over time, like, I can build a computer, but don't ask me to build a processor, uh, which is the heart of a computer. I don't, I don't have the foggiest idea even how they work. And uh, that's kind of how we've become, and we've gotten so advanced just because we keep handing down the secrets of what we did to the next generations. And... I think we need to do that as a people, as parents, as uh, just people, members of society. You know, we, we grow up our whole life and we ask questions like, uh, why am I here? What is my purpose? Uh, what's my goal? And we spend our whole lives answering those questions. And then yet, when we die, our kids have to grow up and ask themselves the same questions. And I think there's some ways you can't avoid that. but. At the same time, if we were to pass down what we've learned about our lives to the next generation, and not just our kids, but other people in the next generation all around us, all of our friends and uh, people we run into, maybe we all wouldn't be so alone and maybe we could get to the better technology of ourselves and stop uh, all this fighting and bickering. And I think our society is a, a picture of the inward culture. And I think once our culture gets to a place where it's in a better place, I think the bigger picture will start to look better also. I don't think we can change it from the top down. So, uh, this isn't meant to be an uh, uh, argument about politics or talking about politics, but th that's what this channel is, is here for. And it's, to, it's been a peek into our lives, which is why we've filmed everything here. Um, you can watch me deliver babies with my own two hands. And you can watch, uh, we can watch my wife die before your eyes. And we told you all the things as it was happening, not just to ask for prayer, but to document it for other people who go through these things to have a better grasp of what worked for us and the things that happened. And, and, and that's just continuing how it was. The, the, the Andrea die and then the, the grieving process and how a family goes on without their matriarch. And that's what we're here for. And... I believe in that so strongly that it's the most important thing in all my life. That's what I do. I talk about these things with my kids. My kids all know the kind of spouses to look for. They know the meanings of life as far as I understand them now, and we learn about them together. Um, we're training adults. We're not entertaining children. And we, we need to treat them that way and not be afraid to talk about these deep, scary things. And obviously there's many things you have to protect your kids from, and I understand that completely. Uh, but they're not going to be immune to hurt. Anyways, this is just a continued real life, true part of my life, our life. And it's not a show. This isn't a show I've rehearsed. It's not just TV. You guys all get to watch it and be a part with us. And you all, I all consider you guys part of our YouTube family. And you've all helped me and us in ways I, I can't explain from money to gifts to wisdom, advice, comfort. All have been there for us. And that just continues on. And um, many of you have seen, uh, I, I got a bunch of comments, you know, early on. I, you saw when I was with April in the beginning, it was, I was really excited and I was so happy. 
and then uh, some of you started to notice that uh, I somehow seem more distant and uh, not as excited and uh, those were real struggles that I was going through. Sorry, more real life if you heard that piano pounding up there. So, and there was, uh, there was a struggle. Uh, the, the feelings that I had for April uh, started to fade and uh, I'm not going to go into details of uh, all that specifically, um, but we were, uh, it became difficult and I wanted to continue to grow things that had been, I don't know, six weeks ago when all this kind of started and uh, I figured it's just all my grief and I still am grieving a lot and April really helped me to see uh, how much I was grieving and how much I had pushed it away and it kind of swept it under the rug, not intentionally, but just through the act of being busy nonstop. And when she was there to help me, it, it helped me to reflect more and to see the things I was going through. So ultimately I continued going and um, those feelings just kept getting more and more distant and, and we talk about them a lot. And um, there were many opportunities. I kept thinking, is this what we want? Is this the right thing? I don't, I don't know how these feelings and I, I kept trying to grow them and she was so patient. I mean, she's such an amazing woman. She's so selfless and she gives of herself a lot. And um, she was there with me and it was, it was, I was dealing with the grief and we just kept being together and hanging out and I was enjoying being with her, but I guess those feelings just kind of never, never came back and it just wasn't fair to her. and. So anyways, uh, if you haven't figured it out already by what I'm saying, is we, we broke up a few days ago and uh, it's extremely hard and I know many of you are going to be disappointed in me and you know I got so many prayers and congratulations and you know this is what God wants and Andrea handpicked them, picked her out for you and, and I, I love all those things and all the comfort but, but it's just, this is just real life and that's just where I'm at and I kind of think that, I, I wonder if my ability to love is just broken, you know, uh, from from grief and I'm still going through all of this and all I know is that I want to do what the Lord wants for me and I've been praying every day for months of to just whatever has happened, would you put that before me and shape my past and I prayed very specific things. Uh, that if, if these, these kinds of things happen, I, that would be a sign to me that maybe I'm not, we're not supposed to be together and, and those things just kept happening. And so anyways, uh, I decided to do this as a pre-recorded instead of a, as a live. Uh, as you guys probably know, there's lots of people that don't like us on YouTube and they've been giving her a very big hard time and I don't want that. This is so hard for her as it is. and. Um, she's such a wonderful person and I just want to make this as, as easy as possible and it's not easy for anybody. Anyways, um, that's what's been going on and uh, that's why we didn't have the video the other night because um, I didn't think it was it was fair to her and and uh, I want to make this as, as painless as possible. The kids are all aware of what's happened and of course they're sad. Um, missing their friends but they're doing okay and we're going to continue just going forward with what, what God wants for us. I think I'm done I'm done looking for a relationship I'm just going to be a dad and focus on my kids and and when once I made that decision I really felt the peace I, I redid the privilege system and I redid the chore system and I can share those with you guys soon about what, how we changed things and uh, I've gotten a lot done and I think that I know that that's the right thing at this point and so I'm sure a lot of you are disappointed and, and I apologize I'm disappointed I I didn't want it to go this way I mean we were recording we were looking for a future together and anyways that's just not going to happen I'm gonna keep this short I will uh, answer your guys's comments um, I'm not sure when I'll do a live again. I'll definitely do a live on the Bible study night, but it's not going to be something I'm going to want to just talk about live. There's been a lot of a lot of people have figured it out already, and there's been lots of little posts here and there, and people making videos very upset with me or sometimes supportive of me, and I just want to minimize that as much as possible right now. I know it's going to be a shock, and um, 
but this is it. This is just real life. This is truth. And um, April's a wonderful person, and I know she's going to make somebody very happy someday. Well, thanks for listening to me, guys. And uh, the new uh, shopping video will be out. It's with a Asher and Judah come with me, and it's hilarious. Uh, they are wild together, and it was a lot of fun. And so I'll try to get that out here later today. Talk to you guys later.